Welcome back to What Art You Noobs for General Disturbance. This is a GW Panther. It's the Tier 7 German SPG. It's located on the defending team of Siegfried Line Assault and it's under the command of Wadswolf of Quinn. Game on. 15 centimeter howitzer mounted on top of a Panther hull. It's capable of doing 600 alpha, 39 millimeter pin and 7.2 meters on burst radius, stunned between 10 seconds and 18. Now, standard reload 25.89, and Wazwolf has got 22.15, so he's knocked off three seconds off the reload. And of course, the enemy has got 10 minutes to try and kill all the members of our team, or take the cap. Well, T-52 comes through the field of view and disappears, but we'll probably see him again very shortly. Developed by Krupp in 1943 to 1944, they didn't make the models for this vehicle, but they never actually built any prototypes because they needed the Panther tanks rather than the Panther Arty, which is a pity, really. Okay, VK-3002 up against Cromwell, and the Panther prototype wins. Can we get a shell in there? That VK looks like he's a one-shot. Oh, it fell too short, but the kill shot actually went to a Skoda T-56 instead. It's a Tier 8 game with Tier 6 tanks in his hand to move, because that Super Hellcat's way too close. Okay, we've auto-aimed on. It should be fun. Hello. We'll one-shot him. Oh, we didn't get the kill. But it was possible that we could have taken him out of the game with just one shot. But I think that Tiger P is going to do it for us. Yep, he's got it. Yes, the armor on the, uh, the Hellcat is so thin that uh, this round would go straight through it normally. As I said, the, uh, the penetration on these rounds is 39 millimeters and well there's virtually nowhere on a hellcat except the turret that can actually take around the 39 millimeters well or stop a round that could do 39 so yes he was lucky that uh, hellcat was very lucky he didn't get one shotted out t20 90 millimeter gun oh good hit he just pulled back over the ridge line, but the shell actually followed him and went down the ridge line just at the right moment to catch him as he was retreating. Now, we don't have many uh, protectors up this end of the map. Most of the fast movers have been taken out, but then the enemy has uh, lost most of their fast movers as well. You can see a Type 57, an M3Y, and an OI. And the Type 57 takes a Fairly good hit for 215. That M3 wise next. It's not hugely fast, this reload, but it is fairly good. Here we go. Rounds out. Nice hit. Got the type again. 256 this time. These guys only seem to be getting close enough to get to the, the entrances to the city, but they're still being held back. That OI is going to be really difficult to get if he stays at the bottom of that bank. The T-20, though, went down and was taken out by the T-3485M. There's the Type 57. He's trying to hide on that corner at the moment. It's a very difficult shot. We're right at the back behind the hill. And that's why we're only getting a partial view on him. Oh, he's up against two of our teammates now, so he's going to go down. And in fact, yes, he does go down to the Black Prince. It might be a good idea for um, for, for uh, Waswolf to actually move and find a better position to fire from, because he's actually got that big obstruction of the hill directly in front of him. Well, the enemy are being decimated. They're down to just five now. I say decimated, that means cut by ten. But um, 
Well, only five enemy, uh, enemy tanks to go. He's lined up on the KV-1S. He can get the shell in. He just needs a few more seconds to get ready. He's marked the target. So I'd like to do to tell my teammates which one I'm going for. Rounds out. Gets a good hit for 159. He's not quite a one shot. Now he's a one shot. And the CDT moves in to try and get past that KV-1S. And the KV-1S goes down to the 53 TP. Four enemies remaining, including their RT, which means... Oh, now there's only two in the town and one outside. The enemy RT is a GW Panther. They've got an ELC M90. They just lost their uh, CDT. So the only enemy tank remaining is the ELC M90. And I think that Wasworth has decided that it's probably safer for him to go RT hunting than it is to stick around and let that ELC sneak in and do some damage. You're going to go up against the monument there. <laughs> yeah. You have to drive around that thing. I think even players who played the game for years suddenly, uh, you know, have a hiccup and they drive into a monument or something and say, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Well, the ELC's made himself available and he's at long range, which means there's going to be a long delay, 2.3 seconds. Oh, he'll have that one. That's the GW who has to stay still. But he fired too soon because, of course, he had a full rescue. And the GW goes down to the AMX 12 ton. So, there's only one enemy left. It's the ELC. And that means that Waswolf is actually safer in this end of the town than he is going elsewhere. The ELC's been found. Will he get one more shot? He might. He lines up a shot ahead of the path. Works out where the guy's going. He can't work out where the guy's going. So, he fires where the guy is. And he does get some damage. The ELC stunned, vulnerable, taking fire. And even though he manages to get the AMX 12 ton, but he goes down in the end to the SU 152, and that's a win. Here's the end of battle results, and that was an ace tanker game for Wanswolf of Quinn in the GW Panther. And the game only lasted just over seven minutes in total. He managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits in that game. He managed to get nine. And he also got a confederate for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. And he didn't get a single kill in the game, even though he had that very tempting shotgun available. Uh, but uh, that actually helped him to get the confederate. And of course, getting a medal like a confederate actually proves that you did fire at the enemy more than any other player on your team and it also gives you the bonus if your team does happen to lose so it's very much worthwhile getting a confederate medal to prove that you did your job in the game and you put in the effort let's have a look at the team score well the highest damage in the game turned out to be the gsaw 1008 who got 2857 hit points of damage Second highest damage in the game went to the Tiger P, 1,957. Third highest damage went to the Wizzy 1111 GFT on the enemy team, 1,735. We can see here that Waswolf managed 1,557 hit points of damage, which is not a huge amount, but he managed to get some stun assist out of that one as well. And uh, that puts him, there's two players on the enemy team scored more than him, Three players on his own team scored more than him, which means he's actually in sixth place when it comes to damage. When it came to kills, we can see the high scorer was the T3485M. He got three kills in that game. Two kills went to the 53TP, the Markovsky go, and Tiger P managed two, so did the Black Prince. And on the enemy team, the ELC M90 managed two kills, so did their GW Panther. When it came to... Um, Wadsworth, no kills at all. But when it came to base XP, he's right at the top. 1,076 base goes to Wadsworth. Second highest was the Black Prince, 929. Third highest, the Skoda T56 with 838. He fired 13 rounds in that game. Got four direct hits on the enemy. No penetrations, but he did get 12 splash. 
damage 1557 of which 1280 were at more than 300 meters the close one being the shotgun on the hellcat one hit received it was a penetrating shot yes and eight enemy vehicles damage none killed 228 hit points of damage assist and 1677 hit points of stun assist of 12 stuns on a premium count he actually made a profit of 57546 credits from that game and he also took away 6,456 experience points, including a mission payout of 3,228. It was the combination of the damage he did during that game and the stun assist, which made this an ace tanker and a very nice quick one as well for only 7 minutes and 12 seconds. Hope you enjoyed that brief battle. If you did, please give this a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.